Well, welcome to St. Stephen's Cam. It's great to have you along and uh, we look forward to hearing you preach in just a moment. But I thought first it'd be great just to have a chance to get to know you a bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, now, you're a local, you grow up here, you went to school here, you went to university here. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, I'm a local boy. I mean, the first year in Auburn, but I don't think that really counts. But from the age of one, uh, I lived uh, what used to be called Kingswood Park, it's just over the north side of yeah. uh, the station. So went to Kingswood Park Public, went to Cranebrook High, uh, went to uni at Western Sydney. Uh, so I've been a, a Penrith boy my whole life. Great. And now you're raising a family in Penrith yep, too? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're still here. I live over in Kingswood now. Uh, I'm married to Kimberley and we have a four-year-old daughter. So uh, I haven't left since I was basically one. <laughs> oh, that's right. So y you're a local. You've always been a local. Yep. And in fact, you've never left university either because you're still the Anglican chaplain at Western Sydney That's University. That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, tell me what you love about that job. Uh, it's, a, it's a great job. I mean, for me, first and foremost, uh, it's where I became a Christian. Yeah, right. Uh, so I wasn't uh, growing up in a Christian family. We oh, didn't okay. go to church. Yep. Um, you know, I, I think I went to youth group twice when I liked a girl, that sort of thing. But, yes. but you know, no real Christian input. Um, and when I got to university, um, I was finding things hard, you know, like I was finding it stressful. Um, I wasn't really interested in God or anything, but I had this friend who was going along to the Christian group, kept asking us all, you know, inviting us along. I said no a heap of times. But uh, one day I was just thinking, you know, if there what was is his a, name? He's Frank. Frank, Frank. great okay, guy. So Frank, Frank, if you're watching, watching yeah, you. <laughs> I thank God for Frank. Yeah. Um, and he persisted though. He persisted faithfully, just asking us, um, and we'd laugh at him and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but one day I thought, you know, if, if there is a God, uh, and I thought there probably was a God, you know, he can help me with my struggles. He can, you know, help me with my fears and, and, and anxiety and all that sort of stuff. You know, maybe I'll, if I scratch his back, he'll scratch my back. You know, I yeah, came yeah. in with that sort of uh, false motive, but they were just teaching the Bible. They're saying, you know, you're worried about uni, you're worried about life. Actually, you've got an even bigger problem. You've, you've rejected God. You've, yes. you've spent your life ignoring him. Um, but amazingly, God still loves you. God still wants you back. In fact, yeah. God sent his son to die for you so that you could be right with him. So, um, yeah, I became a Christian at uni. So was that a long process or a pretty short It took process? a while. Yeah. Um, you know, many months of um, going along and asking questions and things like that. Um, I think I lacked assurance for a long time. Mm -hmm. Part of, you know, I, I prayed the you know, kind of the prayer asking you Jesus to sure forgive me, that, but I wasn't really sure yeah. whether I'd become a Christian yet. You know, okay. did it work for me? Did I really mean it? I yes. kept asking, but yeah. um, just kept challenged to go back to God's grace and his mercy, you know, rest in Jesus, not yeah. um, whether you pray to prayer sincerely enough or something yeah, like that. Sure. So, yeah, it yeah. was really good. So, I mean, that's the main that's the first reason I love uni ministry. Yeah. I wouldn't be a Christian without it. So, so you did leave Penrith, actually, to go to Moore College to train as a minister. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, oh, but I you studied stayed there, but I, I, I did the sneaky and I kept living at Penrith okay. still. So you didn't lose the local tag. No, that's all right. Okay. I just caught the train in every single day. Yeah. And so the, you're there as a chaplain. You've been there since you left college. Yep. Uh, yeah. What, what are the kind of things that you're loving doing there? Well, um, my story isn't unique. Um, there are, you know, 7,000 or so students on campus, many of whom who've probably never stepped foot in a church as mm. well, uh, like myself. And they're at a time of life where they're asking big questions, thinking mm. through um, what's life about. They've got the time to think through things yeah. as well. And, and university is a, is a kind of a neutral context, yeah. so you can ask questions and, and it not be so scary. Mm. Uh, and so we see people come to know Jesus all the time. That's great. Uh, I was sharing with you before, um, there's a, a lovely Chinese couple, Alan and Bella, who uh, we baptised not that long ago. Uh, they came over and came to the Bible group wanting to know, what do Australians believe? We know that Christianity has something to do with it. And, mm. and they just kept hearing about Jesus and wanting to know more about Jesus. And eventually they said, yes, we want to follow him too. So we see people... Uh, get saved all the time. It's, it's a real wonderful ministry that's to be part fantastic. of. That's yeah. fantastic, yeah. Uh, the other thing that's really exciting is just uh, we get to train the next generation of leaders. Uh, so we've got these uh, young men and women for three to five, sometimes longer, uh, years uh, where we can really get alongside them, invest in them, uh, teach them uh, not just how to read the Bible and pray, but how do you share Jesus with your friends, um, how do you run a scripture lesson, yeah. how do you run a Bible study, we get them leading Bible studies and, and running mission trips and all that sort of stuff, mm. really investing in them um, mm. and challenging them, how are you going to spend the rest of your life serving Jesus? They've still got heaps of freedom, you know, mm. they, they haven't 
um, got a mortgage that's tying them to an yeah. area. Um, they, they're not, they, they're rarely married or anything with kids or anything. So they can ask big questions. So mm. push some of them into full-time ministry. I mean, here at your uh, church, um, Rob and Vicky yeah. uh, were part of our group. Uh, ben Purdy, yeah. uh, not that much uh, long, not that long ago. No. They, they were people that I met with one to one, and I read yep. the Bible with, and right. prayed and trained. And um, yeah, we've got you know seven or eight people at more at the moment who are recent mm. grads, and you know a heap going on to the mission field. So just investing in them, saying, yeah, we want you to serve Jesus, um, but not just people who are going to do it full time as well. We're, we're saying to these uh, young guys and girls, you know, wherever you end up. Wherever you end up working and living, we want you to serve Jesus. Mm. We want you to serve in the local church. Uh, and so these are the next generation of, you know, scripture teachers and Sunday school teachers and parish counselors and wardens. And mm. so we want to get alongside them and say, Let, let's train you and grow you and equip you as best as we can mm. and to, to serve Jesus for the rest of your life. Well, it sounds like a really exciting, yeah. uh, exciting role there at the university. And uh, I look forward to praying for you and the, the team at university uh, as a church. Uh, you'll come up on our Chapter of Day uh, plan and we'll, we'll pray for you, uh, you. as the, the weeks and months go on. Uh, and we look forward to hearing, uh, hearing you preach to us now. That's great. Thank Thanks you, Cam. a lot.